Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and welcome to a bookmark tour, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is me talking you through all of the bookmarks that I have acquired over the years and how I very ironically use maybe one or two at a time. And it's the same one or two over and over again, most likely. But nonetheless, here are all of the bookmarks that I have accumulated, and I hope you find this fun. Okay, so first we have these two metal bookmarks that I found at the bottom of the drawer. This one, which is all about hope. We have little stars here at the end. And then this one that says dance as though no one is watching these little shoes at the end where the heels have broken off but honestly that matches the kind of dance I did so I'm not too upset about that. <laughs> honestly I don't tend to use metal bookmarks often. I feel like they tend to be really unbalanced and they fall out of the books very easily. I don't know maybe that's just me. Then we have this leather bookmark from the Jane Austen Center. This must have been when I went in high school very nice pink leather with some Jane Austen seams and then the front door of the center itself. And I've got this ribbon bookmark which my mother made. It's just some lovely tartan ribbon and a little felted Scotty dog at the top. I'd forgotten I had this. This must be one of my oldest bookmarks. It's a wishbone bookmark. I loved this show when I was younger. And this is, of course, Wishbone as D'Artagna from The Three Musketeers. And it says, fetch an adventure, read! Another classic pop culture bookmark. We have a Pirates of the Caribbean bookmark with a very ratty tail. It used to have a skull bead at the end, but that fell off. And now the rest of the string is unraveling itself, but the bookmark itself is still in good shape. This is just a bookmark from a used bookstore. Not that exciting, but it is the one that I stumbled upon on a school trip to Salem, Massachusetts. So I kept it because it's Salem. Also in the running for one of my oldest bookmarks, this is a lovely leather bookmark that I clearly got at the Tower of London with a lovely beef eater or yeoman warder on it. This would have been from the year 2000. We have a lovely bookmark featuring scenes from Gettysburg College, where I went to university. So at the top we have the science building, the fountain, Glatfelter Hall, Penn Hall with the cupola on top, Christ Chapel. I think that could be Glatfelter Hall. And then the lovely brick sign outside campus. And we have another bookmark from, I think, the Jane Austen Center, which is clearly made from a page of Pride and Prejudice, which is... No, it's not. It's a card. But I thought it could be a bookmark, so I've kept it in that drawer nonetheless. Another very old bookmark. This is my Molly McIntyre bookmark from the American Girl series. Molly was my favorite because we looked alike, and she was a dancer just like me. Next, we have a bookmark, I think, from when I went to see the Royal Shakespeare Company when I was 17 in Stratford, which says, The web of our life is of a mingled yarn, good and ill together. It's a bit too big for most of the books that I read, but it's a lovely bookmark nonetheless. More leather bookmarks from the year 2000. This one is from Tintallen Castle, clearly in Scotland. Another one from Edinburgh Castle. Historic Scotland made a lot of really nice leather bookmarks back in the day. I don't know if they still do. Maybe they do. This one from Balwhitter, which is where Rob Roy McGregor was buried. And according to family lore, we're related to Rob Roy. We can find no geneal genealogical evidence of this, but we're gonna go with it nonetheless. And then the final one from that trip from the James Harriet Museum in Thirsk in Yorkshire, featuring a lot of veterinary tools. Kind of gross now that I think about it, but I didn't really think about it at nine. 
We then hit some nostalgia bookmarks. We have these newer magnetic Harry Potter bookmarks featuring Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Draco, along with this bookmark from the release night of book number seven. The tension was utterly palpable. No one knew how that last book was going to turn out. I miss that kind of group excitement. A bookmark that I must have gotten from church during the Advent season that says peace, hope, and love. Another bookmark featuring Aragon and heralding the release of Eldest. I think I must have gotten this when my friend and I went to see Christopher Paolini when Eldest came out, and we actually got our books autographed, which was so cool. And then we have a bookmark that I might throw out because it's for the release of the Aragon film, which I never went to see, but I heard was absolutely terrible. So <laughs> not sure if I should keep this. And then the American Girl Company released a series for older girls called The Girls of Many Lands. And you could tear out a bookmark from each of the books. So I have all of them here. So we have Isabel, Cecile, Layla, I should say Isabel was from, I believe, England, maybe Spain, I don't remember. Cecile from France, Layla from Turkey, Saba from Ethiopia, Spring Pearl from China, Minuk, who was an Inuit Native American. Kathleen was my personal favorite, the Irish dancer. And Neela from India. And then another biblical bookmark, which was actually my mother's, featuring Psalm 118, verse 24. And we have a Clan Gregor bookmark featuring the clan motto and symbol. And, and tartan. And on the back, more information about Clan Gregor. I don't remember if I got this in Scotland or just at a Scottish festival here in the state, but I love it either way. Then I got more magnetic bookmarks from a dragon themed lit joy crate. So these are some famous literary dragons featuring Hagrid and Smaug. I think those are my two favorites. And there's this bookmark. I don't remember where I got it. I think it may have been from a friend, but it's patterned like a carpet and it feels like a carpet. It's got a really fun texture, which I always enjoyed. Then have this lovely bookmark from when the first Hobbit film came out. This lovely leather bookmark from Bath, which is my second home. I miss it so much. Featuring the Abbey, Roman Baths, and Pulteney Bridge. Then have another Shakespeare one from Stratford-upon-Avon. I think these are now the bookmarks that I got from when I studied abroad. Clearly bought something in Stratford and got a fun bookmark with it. A bookmark advertising the 2009 Emma, which the library gave away, so I grabbed it. And to this day, it remains my absolute favorite. Yes, this is when they ran the new Emma, and then they reran the more recent Northanger Abbey and Persuasions. Another Stratford bookmark, this time a leather one, featuring all of the Shakespearean landmarks you can visit in Stratford. This Jane Austen bookmark, which was a gift from my friend Christine, which says, one half of the world cannot understand the pleasures of the other. She thought I might be insulted by that, but I'm definitely not bookmark from Band Book Week, I think in 2014 when I was student teaching, so I made sure to have one of these. Thank you American Library Association for that. The bookmark when a bunch of new Jane Austen adaptations came out on Masterpiece when I was in high school. So they give you the list of all the dates. This is when we got the Persuasion with Sally Hawkins, The Northanger Abbey with Felicity Jones, The Mansfield Park with Billy Piper, 
they re-ran the 95 Pride and Prejudice. I think they ran the Kate Beckinsale Emma. I don't remember that one being new. And then they ran the 2008 Sense and Sensibility and Miss Austin Regrets. That was such a good year. This bookmark I definitely got from the Jane Austen Center in high school, which I just adore. I love that section of Emma. And then it's got a lovely timeline of Austen's works on the back. And this one was another one from Study Abroad. I think I got it at Chawton Cottage and they were celebrating the 200th anniversary of Sense and Sensibility. And then they have some lovely information on the back. A bookmark from the master's and teacher training program that I did for my graduate degree. Featuring all sorts of things that you should remember as you design and as you teach your lessons. The classic Keep Calm and Carry On bookmark. I think this was a stocking stuffer one year. Another fun Hobbit bookmark featuring Gandalf. Two bookmarks that I printed offline featuring the second and fifth doctors, respectively. Another stocking stuffer Doctor Who bookmark. A bookmark from when I went to the Warner Brothers studio tour for Harry Potter in 2014. A bookmark from an indie bookstore in Southampton on Long Island which is actually where my mother was born. This lovely bookmark with the serenity prayer that I used to use all the time, especially on the books that I took to school. I then embroidered this bookmark. I made a whole series for friends and for myself based on Game of Thrones sigils and mottos. So this one is for House Lannister and it says, hear me roar. Classic books bookmark from The Strand in New York City. A bookmark from Jane Austen Books, which is a wonderful online bookseller, and they usually show up to every AGM that Jasna hosts, so definitely check them out. I believe, yes, it's just janeaustenbooks.net. They are a fabulous company. This lovely suffragette bookmark. And I believe the artwork was done by Alison Gardner. Yet another bookmark from the Jane Austen Center. How did I accumulate this many bookmarks from them? I don't know. A bookmark from Story Arts, which is another wonderful company making bookish accessories. Check them out if you haven't already. A bunch of bookmarks from Book Depository. This was in the Problems Only Readers Have series. This wasn't technically a bookmark, it's just a fake film strip of BTS that came in one of their albums. I forget which one, but I decided it would make a good bookmark. So that's what I use it for. I picked up this lovely wooden bookmark from BookCon with a quote from either Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. I forget which. Don't adventures ever have an end? I suppose not. Someone else always has to carry on the story. It's just beautiful. From Ink and Wonder. There we go. And someone gave me this lovely Hermione bookmark, who is my spirit animal, it has to be said. I kept one of the bookmarks from Blackwell's when I ordered something online because I think that ink print is just gorgeous. This is again not technically a bookmark, but I found it inside a used book that I bought. And it's a boarding pass from Ryanair, which I find absolutely hilarious, given the fact that I have flown with them once or twice, and based on the Rod Gilbert comedy sketch about flying with Ryanair. So I had to keep this just because. There's this lovely bookmark, which I got as part of another Lit Joy crate featuring Claire and Jamie from Outlander. And the artwork was done by Sarah Conradson. And then, oh, I'd forgotten I had two of these. There's another suffragette bookmark with that same 
Alison Gardner artwork, another metal bookmark featuring Go Confidently in the Direction of Your Dreams by Henry David Thoreau, this bookmark featuring Zora Neale Hurston from the Center for Fiction in Brooklyn, which is a wonderful bookstore that I just recently discovered. There's this beautiful metal bookmark that was given to me by my friend Lauren recently, which is just so delicate I don't want to use it in books. This very old woolen bookmark that either my mother made or someone crocheted for her, featuring a little bookworm. These two, which came in a lit joy crate that my friend Veronica bought for me, one says, one person can't feel all that at once, they'd explode, featuring a teaspoon. There's a silver lining I've been looking for. Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. And don't let the hard days win. I don't know where three of those quotes are from. I think it's from Sarah J. Mass series, which I haven't read, but the artwork is pretty. Then there's this beautiful peacock bookmark, which Marissa gave me for Christmas last year, featuring Hope is the Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. And a handy dandy ruler on the back in centimeters and inches. And then this bookmark, which came with a garment that I ordered from Inkwell Threads that says one more chapter. And then, of course, there's the bookmark that I always use in my main read, which is this gray leather bookmark that just says faith in what used to be white thread. <laughs> it is very old by this point. So there you have it. Those are all of the bookmarks that I own and that I rarely use, unfortunately. Do you have the same problem? Do you just stick to one bookmark? Do you even use bookmarks? Let me know in the comments down below, and until next time, be safe, be well, and happy reading. Bye everyone!